Hey there, I'm Mike Burke with Inside Real Estate Photography and in this video we're going to discuss a way to do sky replacements for your real estate photos that's both fast and gives you fantastic results. So up until recently I used Photoshop to do my sky replacements. It got the job done, but the results weren't always perfect and it was a bit of a process. In this tutorial, we're gonna be using a software called Luminar 4, which has a feature called AI Sky Replacement that will replace the sky in nearly one click and yield almost perfect results. It'll blow your mind. All right, let's jump in. Okay, so here we are in Luminar 4. I'm just gonna hit the plus button up here so we can import some images. I have this couple images on my desktop here. Let's start with this image here. So as you see, uh, we have a gray, gloomy sky here. So we wanna make it a nice, inviting blue sky. What we're gonna do here is just go to the Edit tab, and if we go down to the Creative tab here, you'll see AI Sky Replacement. So we're just gonna click on that. Watch what happens here. You're gonna be floored. So if you just go in here, they have, it comes with a bunch of, um, you know, skies that you can use. You can also, you know, import your own, yada, yada, but these are pretty good. Let's see if I just click on this blue sky one right here, watch what happens. Boom, blue sky. I don't know what kind of wizard magic they have in here, but it is absolutely phenomenal. This sky is pretty cool, but you can see there's, you know, a bunch of different options in here. Um, you know, these, these sunsets, sunset skies, if you wanted to try to do like a virtual twilight type deal and all that. But we're not doing that for this, obviously. We just want a nice blue sky. This number two is pretty good. So the only thing we, if you notice, is that, you know, we got a little bleed here with the sky mask. So all we have to do here is clean it up a little bit. So if you go down to edit mask, and you go to the brush and we just want to click erase. I'm just going to make this big here. So if I just run over some of this here, because sometimes it bleeds down into here a little bit. And I'm just going to zoom in a bit here. You'll notice that, you know, it got down on this fence area here. So if I just run over this here, clean this up a little bit. This is pretty incredible, isn't it? I mean, it used to take a decent amount of time to do this. And with the software, it's incredibly fast and easy. <laughs> it feels like cheating. <laughs> it's like, feel guilty almost doing it <laughs> and this software is only 89 bucks and for the amount of times we need to do this as real estate photographers that's like a drop in the bucket it's so worth it and literally that's pretty much all that needs to be done here look at how good of a job it does though like masking in between the branches and everything it's just it's it's incredible i mean this tree is dimmed down a little bit like if you wanted to go crazy here and you reduce the opacity here a little bit and just if you wanted to like brighten this tree up a little bit you could but i mean it's not even necessary to be honest with you you can get away with not even doing that a two two minute sky replacement <laughs> with this good of a result is just incredible really the other thing you can do here if you go to advanced settings if you want to tweak it a little bit more the exposure if it was if you wanted to brighten it a little bit which might actually look good with this i mean you see you can raise the exposure a little bit it actually looks kind of good and you can change the color temperature and all that good stuff after i edit my images i just bring them in here and swap the sky out i'm in and out in a couple minutes it's it's really incredible let's take a look at this other image we'll do another one real quick 
this is a further back image showing how big the property is here. We've got a little bit more sky here. But you know, you'll see, you see here, it's winter, gray day. Again, we'll pick a blue sky. Let's try number four here, maybe. Uh, maybe number one. Yeah, that's cool, why not? You'll see it, it did, you know, get a lot of blue in here, but again, we'll just uh, take the edit mask tool, brush, make sure it's on erase. Just pull this up really big. Get all this foreground here in case we got down here. But you know, even cleaning this up takes no time at all, really, so it's not a big deal. up a little bit and that is pretty much good I mean like I said you can get in here maybe burn this area up a little bit these trees But I mean, pretty darn good if you ask me. All right guys, I hope you enjoyed this quick but powerful tutorial on how to do a sky replacement inside Luminar 4. For us as real estate photographers, having the ability to swap out the sky is a huge asset because we can't have clients calling us every time it's a little cloudy out wanting to reschedule shoots. It costs us time, money, and a lot of aggravation. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button and consider subscribing. Thanks for watching.